my former friends. How the heck are you? Good to see you. Welcome back to the island across the pond. What did I say? Hippity <laughs> Hippity Island it is. How are you doing? Good to see you. We are doing a little fancy dancy sugar beet harvest. We are on field number three. We are just about done. It is the 1st of October today, 9.33 in thy morning. But what a beautiful day it is. What a beautiful day. I got Grease Monkey down here, and Zeke is helping out. Zeke was over at a field getting that all plowed up. He was doing some liming, plowing, cultivating, so he has been just a um, farmer extraordinaire. Good old Zeker. I'm telling you, Grease Monkey, he brought down his sugar meat harvester. He's giving me a hand to get this wrapped up. So I have this little section here, and I got that little section there, but that is this is a third of the fields. And then, of course, we have the two just over yonder there to the east of where we are. So we have those two sugar beet fields to get done. All the potatoes have been done and all the field work has been done except, um, except, well, these three fields that are gonna be combined into one and except those two fields over there that are gonna be combined into one. Other than that, I think everything else is done. Grease Monkey, what are you doing? Oh, he's going, look at him, look at him go to town. Fancy greenish color with his yellow topper. Uh, I tell you what. I think look at this. It's it's it's, it's like a, it's like twins. Grease Bucky and I are twins in our harvester, and we have the same truck and trailer. I tell you what, we shop at the same auctions. I tell you. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Let's see. I'm trying to think now. Um, over yonder, that way is where we just wrapped up. So if we look on the map, um, yes, right here. Uh, you see my cursor there? 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79. I count backwards. That has all been done and limed and fertilized and plowed and cultivated ready for planting. We have this section here, which is all ready to go. So we have some equipment there because once we get uh, these three fields, then we can combine that. And then once we get those two fields, then we can combine that. The big field has all been combined and it is ready for planting. So we're going to get some canola in there as soon as we get the chance here. Oh crap, we're going to do demo dirty sugar beet harvesters. There you go. A little uh, demo derby in the four string. I like it. That's a good plan. Looking down over there, monkey's farm over there. Yep, I haven't heard much from Rachel. I haven't heard much about Raunchy Rachel. But then again, I haven't been up at the pub lately because I've been kind of busy working. Uh, I think Mouse is up at the pub as we speak. So I don't, I don't understand that guy. He gets all his stuff done and then he can just go hang out at the pub for five days. I, it's, it's unbelievable. Reese Monkey and I are here working our butts off. And uh, Zeke too, look at that. Our grass is growing. Oh, our grass is growing. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. But we are pretty much caught up, I think. I think I think we're feeling pretty good. October 1st today, so we're going to start planting either today or first thing tomorrow. We can start with our canola, and then we can get some wheat in the ground or whatever. We're, I think we're going to probably do wheat. I think we'll probably do wheat. And then we will have to wait until the spring to do our corn, potatoes, and sugar beets. But here's the thing. We have got a plethora, I was going to say buttload, but I'll use a fancier word. We have got a plethora of sugar beets and potatoes, so I haven't quite figured it out yet. I'm going to have to talk to Jacinta B and see what she thinks if we actually need to do some more potato and sugar beet harvesting because, here's the thing, in our, in our two pig food mixers, you know, we, we added the second one, I mean, this one is plump full. It's producing pig food. We're up to 98,000 liters of pig food already in the first one. The second one, we're plump full and is producing 10,000 liters so far. So we are full there. And then if we go into storage in potatoes, we still have 543,000 liters of potatoes and we have 134,000 liters of sugar beets. So once all these sugar beet fields get harvested and put into storage, we'll have a lot there so maybe with all that said we probably don't need to plant sugar beets or potatoes next year and even if we did plant two small fields is it really going to amount to much anyways i don't know that's something to keep in mind or we could just plant them and keep them in storage because they're, they're you know that's okay put sugar beets in a deep freeze put potatoes in our potato warehouse that's going to be uh, the cellar which is climate controlled so i don't know it might work out just fine that way it might be, um, oh crap, I'm 89%. Am I going to have enough to get all the way down to the end? So I think we're sitting pretty good. Now, here's the other thing I want to show you real quick. 
if we go into this handy dandy handy dandy thing, look at the values of all the stuff that we have got. Keep in mind, I still have 138,000 liters of barley in the bin. I have 89,000 liters of oats in the bin, and I have 78,000 liters of canola in the in the three bins of the farm. You go down the list. I mean, it's just getting to be astronomical here. What I'm coming up with, but look at this big one right here: pig food. I have four hundred and sixty-four thousand dollars worth of pig food on the farm. I mean, it's crazy. And I got like twenty thousand, fifty thousand, twenty-eight thousand, thirty-seven thousand, ninety-two thousand in meat already. I'm telling you what. There's just it's something else. It is. It is. But it's a beautiful day at the farm. And I'm glad you're here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for stopping in today. I sincerely appreciate that. Hope your week is going well. I think it'll be, uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday or Happy Thursday to you. I don't know yet. But, oh, look at that. Grease Monkey and I are just on a roll. We are on a roll. We are on a roll. Oh, there comes Zeke. Zeke has got the uh, fertilizer spreader coming down the road now with the old um, Massey Ferguson. We'll um, open up our conveyor here. Our loading arm. Oh, is this, is this thing full? Oh, I bet you this is full. Oh, it's full. I'll have to go over to Grease Monkeys. So, Zeke is going to get ready. Hopefully, Zeke understands that we need to mulch this first. We need to mulch this first. Breaker 1-9 for Zeke. You got a copy? Go ahead. Hey, Zeke. How's it going? Going oh, well, man. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Say, I think we'll have to uh, mulch these three fields before we do anything, right? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That sounds like a good plan. Just going to get the uh, chip forward and the mulcher now. Oh, all right. Well, thank you, sir. You're a good man. Don't let it get out. I don't care what Grease Monkey says about you. I think you're a good man. <laughs> all right, thanks. Over and out. So, yeah, we'll mulch these fields. And then we'll um, fertilize them. We'll put some lime down. We will plow and cultivate. We have a process. We have a process. We have pretty good processing going on here. So that is the plan. Two more sugar beet fields to do. We have one full truck, one full trailer over there. We've got one truck and one trailer here that are going to be pretty darn near close to being full. I think Grease Monkey right now is saying to himself, uh, how do I get over there? How do I get over there? Help me out here a little bit, people. Help me out. I say, yeah. You know what, Grease Monkey? Just uh, drive through the darn hedge. Drive through the darn hedge. Or follow me. How long the heck do we get out of here? Oh, yeah, it's up there. Oh, okay, Grease Monkey's not going to go through the hedge. He's not going through the hedge. I won't go through the hedge. So we're going to head right over there to the east. We'll get those two fields done. I'll have to come back at these trucks out of here, and then Zeke is going to do some field work here. And then uh, we'll get this thing wrapped up, and I think we'll be planting here pretty damn shortly. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? I used to watch that show as a kid all the time. Get up in the morning. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. I wonder what Grease has got going on here with his mist spots in his fields. I think he was a little bit into his whiskey product when he was doing some field work there. I think what we're going to do is we will carry on with some uh, more sugar beet harvesting. We have these two small fields left to do, and then we have a bunch of field work to do. And what else? We Yeah, that's about it. And then I'm thinking tomorrow, if, if Zeke jumps in a planter, i got to go around and I want to do some animal work. I want to get some milk taken care of. Earlier today, or this early, right early this morning, I um, focused heavily on getting the stuff from the... Um, the uh, you know the greenhouses and the mill and getting everything up into storage so I am caught up on that matter of fact you know I'll tell you what I want to show you something so here's where we stand on this I mean I've, I'm not a very good pallet stacker guy but here's what we got in storage and this is where you go down that list and see all the money we got you know we've got um, hemp seeds over here we got a whole stack of popcorn we got flour we've got uh, hemp paper We've got uh, just regular cannabis. We have got some hemp oil. We've got hemp cereal. We've got flour. We've got uh, hemp chocolate. That is honey. Over here, we've got bread. We've got tomatoes. We've got hemp clothing. We've got hemp energy drink. We have got uh, hemp seed bread. And we got hemp cereal. I mean, this is, this is our location up here. I mean, this is... 
Oh, I, I, Grease Monkey is so much better. Look at look at Grease Monkey. Grease Monkey stacked the flower and he got a four high. I stacked I stack I stack like this. I'm a, I'm a terrible stacker guy, but keep in mind keep in mind my friends when it comes to bill stacking I can get four bills across. Mouse can only get three, so I have them beat in that department. So yeah, we're we're producing a lot of good stuff and I've been storing a lot of stuff to see some money. To make some money to save up and then wait till the market goes up and then sell. Keep in mind, we are $2.4 million back down into debt. But, but, I mean, things, things are going to look up. And the whole map is bought now. So I can't buy any more land unless some comes up for sale from one of these two wackadoodles. These card-cheating, land-grabbing wackadoodles. And, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe they want to get rid of something, but I doubt it. So... I think the focus right now is going to be getting our fields planted for the fall. We're going to focus on some animals. I, I got to do something because my cows aren't reproducing. They, they absolutely suck at it. So I'm thinking now we, we got the fields all taken care of. We got the fields organized. We know what we're going to plant. We know what we're using to produce. So I think it's time just to go, go big and go home on animals. I think we, we just start getting a massive amount of cows, some more pigs. You know what? Mouse is doing sheep. We could actually put in a little sheep pen and, and dabble into the sheep business. I, I don't know if that's if that's kosher or not because that's kind of his department. He's making that fancy clothing, and he's kind of got the market cornered on that. But because I'm doing pigs and cows, we got we got chickens. We're producing. Oh, you know that's one thing I forgot. I forgot to go check on the eggs. I bet I got a box full of eggs there. So I will have to do that as well too. But um, yeah, we're just gonna grease buggy and I are gonna carry on with these two fields. Things are going pretty well, but um, yeah, I'll see you here after a little bit, and we'll see how far we got. Holy buckets, my friend! The day has progressed. It is. Holy crap, it's getting late. I think it's been about eight hours since the last time I talked to you, when we were harvesting the sugar beets. Eight, yeah, eight hours here in the day. Holy crap, we have been busy. We've been busy. Oh. Hello, little Prius driving butthole friend. Uh, just came into the farm. I had to go to the house. I had to get a bacon sandwich and a Mountain Dew. Two Mountain Dews, actually, but don't tell Sophie. Across the road, you will see the versatile and a, is it Hertzenblocker? Hertz, Hertzenbockler? Hurt, something like that. Hurt, Hertzenbockler? A cedar. Zeke was out planting with the cedar that we had purchased earlier. And saying, you know what, men? I'm thinking we need something a little different. So I told you what. I'll tell you what, Zeke. I'll call it down to the dealership. I'll see what they got. Maybe they have a demo. We can demo it. And, well, we are having fun with it. Zeke, that big field, the monstrosity of a field, he got that all planted with canola with this puppy. And then uh, he did some fertilizing, some spreading. We got the sugar beets done. And I said, Zeke, let me try it out. Let me try it out. He, you're hogging it, Zeke. You're hogging it. I want, I want to do a little planting. So... I am down here on the field across from the farm. This is going to be a wheat field. And I thought to myself, I'm going to, I'm going to give it a shot. So I started there in the corner, and I'm just going to go. I'm going to go. It's getting late into the afternoon, so into the early evening hours. So I figured I want to get this planted yet tonight. We're only in October 1st. We still have a, we still have a few more days. Well, two-thirds of the month of October left to do this. But I was thinking, hey, I might as well give it a shot. So, Zeke is out bumming around doing some other things. Matter of fact, he is out with the wood chipper. And he is uh, extending some entrances and making life a little bit easier for our equipment. So, I thought I would hop into here. You want to know what? You want to know a story? I'll tell you a story. Let me just uh, get this thing turned on there. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a beast. I got to fill with seed. I got to fill with fertilizer. We're planting wheat. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So, I'll tell you a story. Uh, I have not seen the monkey man. I have not seen the long-tailed rodent here in quite a while. Matter of fact, you know what they were doing? They were out doing some pew pew pewing. And I said, guys, we have farming to do. Why are you sitting, sitting, out, sitting at home all day playing pew pew pew? Well, actually, it, it's, it sounds like this. Yeah, so they were doing that, and the primate, he just 
like went down, hit a tall tree, crashed to the ground. I said, okay, how did that make you feel? And then the uh, rodent, yeah, he went up to like 18,000 feet, took a couple shots and got killed. So I said, you guys could have got all kinds of stuff done on the farm, but no, you're sitting at home playing pew, pew, pew. So it is what it is. I guess, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Whatever makes you happy. But me, I am planting wheat with, and I just screwed up that whole corner with the new fancy Hertzen blocker. I think I'm saying that right. Hertz, Hertzen blocker. So I'm getting the wheat planted. We got the canola planted. Now we're getting the wheat planted. We still have some fields that we're not quite certain about. Now here's the deal with this planter. If we trade in our previous planter, it's going to cost us 232,000 232, bucks, I think. Oh, that's a lot of money. And Jacinta B has absolutely texted me all day and said, you do not borrow one more dollar. What in the world is wrong with you, man? And I kind of agree. I kind of agree. We, we got that debt out there. We, we got to stay away from the debt. We'll just, um, you know, and we're making money. We have money. It's not like we don't have money. We are making money. We have money. We have money available. We can sell some products. We can make some money. And we don't need to borrow any more money. So I have made the decision, my friends. Oh, I missed a spot there, too. I'm going to come back and get that. Uh, that we are not going to borrow any more money. So I'm going to have to come up with $232,000 if I want to keep this Hertz and Buckler. Buckler? Buckler? Buckler. I don't know. It's a crazy. Oh, I'm missing the corner. Oh. I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible cedar. I'm a terrible cedar guy. And these trees. Whoever thought about, kept, you know what Grease Monkey told me? He said, you know what? Just keep the trees. The trees look good. Just keep the trees. They add to a natural feeling of the whole thing. Just keep them. So I kept them. And now I'm thinking to myself, why in the world did I ever keep these trees here? But trees are good. Trees are good. I'm not going to go, you can't go wrong with a little bit of trees now and then. You know, Mouse has got all those trees up there, which I'm, Thinking about in the middle of the night going up there and cutting down. I told Zeke, Zeke, if you ever get Brooks happy, go up there and cut those damn things down. That's what I'm saying. Oh, look out, dear. Cedar coming through. So, with that said, that's what we did. We got, we got all the sugar beets planted. Or planted. We got all the sugar beets harvested. They are either in the pig food mixer or in storage. We've got the fields done, so they are ready for planting. The big thing that we did is the big grass field. We have um, continued that into all those sugar beet fields. So now it is one monstrosity of a grass field. And that's going to be pretty good because I'm actually thinking that maybe we should do one more grass field. I'm kind of thinking, but uh, we could talk about that next time. Because next time, I'm going to be getting into the animals and what we have going on with that. Because we really need to expand that and look at that. Other than that, things are actually looking pretty good here on the farm. It's getting, I mean, late, beginning of October, the, the leaves are changing, the weather is getting colder, we're, um, we're kind of coming down into wintertime, and, and Zeke, Zeke just told me today that he's got to head to sunny California there for a while, so he's not going to be around. I'm like, Zeke, uh, I guess it's okay. I mean, if you're going to leave and take a vacation, why not do it in the middle of winter? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm just waiting for the time that Sophie's going to walk by and say, Oh, by the way, husband, uh, I'm leaving for a month. Okie dokie. Well, I guess whatever floats your boat, my dear. That'd be fine. I can hang around here. So, I'm going to get this field planted. Oh, look at that. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. I'm actually doing a fantastic job. Oh, you stay away from the hedge. See, I, I kind of go um, close away. Close away. Uh, I'll get it all, I'll get it all done. See, that, that, this, the versatile just kind of veers off one way if you don't turn it away. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. But I'm going to continue on here. Uh, Zeke is, uh, yeah, Zeke's gone. Mouse is gone. Grease is gone. It's just me. Uh, Sophie's gone. I wonder if they're all at the same place having a night out and they didn't invite me. That very well could be it. I'm just like, I'm all by myself. Yeah, I am. I'm all by myself. Me, the versatile, and the Hertzen buckler. Oh, it's a fancy cedar, though. Oh, it is a fantastic job. Look at that. I, 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 you know what you think about it? That's actually a pretty big, big field. I mean, I'm just making the first pass all the way around it. Oh, holy buckets. But 300, I think it's, no, $232,000. 
that we'd have to come up with tomorrow. So, I don't know. Tomorrow, let's look at animals. Let's look at uh, where we stand with that. Let's look at grass, silage, hay, straw. Let's also take a look at what we have in storage now, what prices are, where we can come up with the money, and then um, maybe focus on the next thing to do this winter. we got to find something to keep us busy this winter because we, we're, we're going to need to keep busy. I mean, we do have the production, so I think everything else is pretty much set to go. But we'll double check that in the meantime just to make sure. But we'll leave it there for today, my friends. Uh, thank you so very much for stopping by. I hope you are having a great week, staying safe, staying healthy. It's a beautiful day on the farm. It's a beautiful day on the island. Oh, what, what more could you ask for? A versatile, a Hertzenbachler, a sunset, and a beautiful October day. Oh, it doesn't get any better. Sylvie, I need a couple of Miller lights. That's what I need, Sylvie. Oh. Never mind. She's on around. That's bang out of order. Cheers. <laughs>